The KH-9 hexagon reconnaissance satellites were deployed by the United States during the Cold War against the Soviet Union and foreign adversaries. Serving from 1971 to 86, they were the last U.S. photographic film-based satellites. The complex and clever system sent back to Earth four re-entry vehicles for film processing and intelligence. The 53-foot-long satellite weighed 30,000 pounds, carried two or three cameras along with film recovery vehicles. The main cameras were panoramic and stereoscopic, enabling them to capture large areas of the Earth's surface, some claiming a 2-3 to three foot resolution. The film spools were enormous, holding about 320,000 feet of film, the frame width being 6.6 .6 inches. Later versions included an additional mapping camera. They contained two right cameras designed by Perkin Elmer and worked at a range of 80 to 370 nautical miles. A complex spooling system moved the film through 100 plus rollers at a high rate of speed depending on the altitude, while traveling over a predetermined trajectory. As the film was exposed, it was collected into take-up reels. Once a sufficient targeted area was covered in the order given, a McDonald's Douglas re-entry vehicle with the take-up reel was released and guided by thrusters to land near Hawaii. Once this bucket entered the atmosphere, a parachute would deploy and be captured in flight or in the ocean and the film developed for analysis. Once all buckets were released back to Earth, the satellite burned up on re-entry and the mission completed. Since the film was stereoscopic, it provided depth to the imagery to help with the analysis of objects with very high resolution. An amazing piece of technology and engineering which provided the U.S. with valuable intelligence. 19 missions covered 870 million square miles of the Earth's surface. In 2011, the Hexagon program was declassified and now can be seen in the Cold War Gallery at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio.